So what's up everybody? It's me, it's me, True Star Screamer. And we are here with getting into the backlog of 2023. Uh, this review is actually requested by Edward Sullivan. Uh, he caught my figures I did not, was unable to review video from 2023. And he specifically requested to see my take on Snow Job. So, um, Edwin, this one's for you. And this, again, uh, the era of, well, the lack of pet plastic packaging, which for me, as you guys know, I didn't mind because I love seeing this art. I do like how the new plastic packaging apparently is going to have this on the back, so yay. Um, so here we go. Uh, some kind of polar bear up there, which is pretty neat. Uh, got our tank over here. We've got his gear. Now, I did review the Snow Serpent, which had some of these pieces as well. I have these snowshoes on here. So, well, I think it came out on him first. I like the Snow Serpent. I went to that. I prefer to review that one. But, enough about the box. Let's talk about Snow Job. And, well, it is January and it is cold, even though I am in North Carolina and it was 56 degrees today. Let's talk about this wintry wonder man. That failed. So here's Snow Job right out of the package. Looks really cool with the black velvet background. I think I got it lit right too. Give me a thumbs up if you like the black background. If you don't like the black background, black background, you want me to go back to the uh, diorama one? Let me know down in the comments. But I digress. Uh, this is a, a very good figure. Uh, I know he's been out for a while. You probably ain't gonna find him in any stores, but you probably can find him on an online retailer. And just as a figure unto himself, this is very, very nice. Uh, probably one of my, some of my favorite things I like, these joints are moving very smooth. Now I've worked with enough figures this year, freaking nunchuck, um, where the knees and everything were all tight. Everything moves really, really well. You know, I think I wanna, I think I wanna lay off the foam button. <laughs> the foam base here, though. Looks good for a photo, but uh, not the best for uh, getting a figure to stand. So, give me one second here. Anyway, back to our regular scheduled review. He, of course, has your basic uh, classified series articulation. I do like that they do have the body on the ball joint. I've been complaining about that certain figures should be using this joint that don't, and this is one I was hoping would, and does use it. His uniform has a lot of details that I absolutely love, including painting the buckles. You know, I've got ones on these harnesses, I've been wanting these painted, you know, whether it be grenades, buckles, things like that, he's got it. Uh, that, oh, very nice. He's got his hood here, uh, it is removable. You can, well, you, you can pop his head off, and the hood will come off. Give me one second here. So the hood is removable and he does have his, you know, high uh, extreme temperature gear on. And while I could had to take the head off to put this on, you can just wedge this over his head and put that back on him. Okay, I should also point out why you can just pop the head off and slide it back in. It's easier that way. I like the, that the pockets have contrasting paint on them. That is very, very nice. He's got his peg hole in the back. He's got a holster here. Um, does have drop down hips. Basic ink pivot. Yeah, not of, 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 of G.I. Joe figures. This is probably not the most extreme butterfly joint, but he's got it. Um, ab crunch is very decent back and forth waist swivel neck pivot all the fun stuff so in general as a figure i really like this of course i don't say the challenge but he's a snow trooper so photography and stuff yeah that's gonna be a fun di um you'd have to build a special diorama or something for him but this guy is a deluxe figure so that also means he comes with a boatload of accessories. Let's talk about those. 
Oh my lord. Have you ever heard the expression, understanding the assignment too well? Um... I love the fact that a when a classified figure can hold all his gear. I've also lamented that some figures have too much gear. I've also commented, you know, it has too much gear and they can't carry it all. This is the first time I've ever seen having too much gear and being able to carry it all. Whoever designed this figure, yes, understood the assignment. I can also assure you Snowjob carries all his groceries in in one trip. I am having to use a NECA stand to hold him up and he is precariously balanced right now because he is so back heavy with all his stuff. While it's cool, this is one of the things of they designed it because they could, but I don't know if they should. Um, I am never going to be having him like displayed like this, but uh, I am damn impressed. So let's get this backpack off of him. Put him off to the side and let's talk about all this stuff. I mean, first of all, this backpack itself is a, yeah, while it's a single piece of plastic is beautifully molded with the backpack straps on here even when you take it off it's got like the stray buckles on here I mean, yes I always want paint but th this is just impressive uh, there was no instructions on this I literally had to sit here and figure everything out uh, he's got here two set a set of skis a set of ski poles a set of snowshoes and a sniper rifle that has a clip and ski poles. So there's, I, I, I don't think there's any reason that I would be having him having all his gear on the backpack ever, but the fact I can do it is pretty damn awesome. Uh, the snowshoes themselves are the same ones that the snow serpents had. I don't remember if they were the two tones of plastic like this one has, but they've got them there. Which, wearing those would probably offset the backpack. Uh, I love the fact that the ski poles have these little clips in here. And the fact that the ski pole tips are painted is a wonderful touch because a lot of times they wouldn't be. Uh, me, just being the nitpicker that I am, I would have liked the poles being painted red, the, the handles being painted red. But um, again, I'm just complaining for the sake of complaining. <laughs> well, we've got two of those. Uh, the skis. These just slide in the soft plastic here, so be careful. I am actually going to take... Because I don't want to tear that soft plastic. So I'm going to take this off camera for a second. Uh, I like the, the faux leather in here. And again, they are pegged for him. So that looks really nice. And his sniper rifle, which I want to point out did come in a, a uh, cardboard sleeve, so that kept the barrel straight. It is still a little on the gummy side, yes. Does have a port for a blast effect. The clip is removable, which I'm neither here nor there on that, just because I think it's just one less piece that can get lost. I do like that it is two-toned, though. There's still more stuff, by the way. Uh, he also came with possibly the best looking set of goggles I've seen on any of the Joes. Though I haven't opened up low light yet, but these are absolutely awesome. He does have a pistol. That is a single piece, sing no paint. Does have a hole for an effect. And just when you think it doesn't get any better, it still gets better. Because, you stay up there, stay. He also comes with not only an alternate head with the... Uh, with no that doesn't have the environmental gear on there but also a folded down collar so when you do have him walking indoors you can have the collar down i really like the fact that while the collar is a separate piece it molds into the vest really well so it looks like it's all one piece of plastic that is a very very nice touch plus i really like the uh, texturing on the fur don't know. I'm going to do this right now for you guys. 
if the goggles fit over his head. Now the goggles don't go over his head when he's unmasked. The hair does block that. Just thought it would have been interesting if it could. I really do like this head sculpt. Even if I keep him with a heavy environmental hood on, this would be a really neat alternate head for another character. So if you ever wanted to army build. Yeah, even with the using the collar hood down, it looks really, really good. This just gives him a lot of play and display value, which I think is really neat. So let's put some of this gear on him just to see how it looks, but don't worry, I'm not going to go overboard. So this is him geared up with the sniper rifle. The way I would see it is he probably skied to his location, left his backpack where he needed to go. Trudges up to his spot to take the shot. Um, I am going to say he cannot do many sniper poses with this. Uh, he can hold the rifle in one hand okay, but I can't really get him to do a two pose, uh, a two arm stance with the sniper rifle. Just his arms don't go that way, so that's a little bit of a bummer. I do like that rifle though, so it may be given to somebody else. We'll see. And then, of course, skiing away after taking the shot, taking out some some poor Cobra sentry or officer or whatever. So it's a pretty it's a pretty neat look. Uh, I think it's a really cool figure. I am not the biggest guy in the whole Arctic thing. Like, for example, I am passing on the Arctic Ar the Arctic Action Force figures. That's not as easy to say as it sounds. But, if the Arctic thing is your thing, this is definitely a good figure. In fact, due to the fact he doesn't have any Joe stuff on him, he would probably go very well with your Arctic Action Force figures now that I think about it. Okay, I really just wanted to have him holding his pistol because I've had him doing everything else with all his accessories. Um... Snow job comes with all the accessories you could want a snow trooper to have. With the snowshoes, the skis, and the fact that this backpack can carry everything is absolutely insane. Uh, definitely a nice foil to the snow serpents as well. I think as weird of all the stuff, I don't know which I like better, the fact that the backpack holds everything or the design of this alternate hood, this alternate uh, yeah, the alternate hood. The fact how this collar fits in there. It's just a really nice touch. And the fact that we get a head here that doesn't use the uh, environmental suit. I think that's a really cool thing. So that that is really worth it for the price of admission. Aesthetically, I'm not much for snow troops. Even though I have two snow vipers, two snow bats, and this guy. Go figure. Uh, it's just, it's not my thing. Like, when I get all the Joes together, this poor guy's gonna be sweating his tail off when they're in the base, because he just has his gear. Uh, again, it's an engineering marvel for him carrying all his gear. So for a deluxe figure, and if this is your bag, this is absolutely a recommend. Me? I never felt Snow Job was a ground moving character you know i'm not saying he's like the aquaman he doesn't talk to fish type of thing but he, he's great for the snow he's great for the arctic awesome but you've got other troops who are a little more versatile who could go to different places um and i'm, I'm sure he's great to have for this those arctic ex explorations so yeah aesthetically he's not my back that's just it but as an action figure unto itself, you're absolutely getting your money's worth out of it. I think you can still get him online on Amazon and Big Bad Toy Store. But let me know your thoughts. You know, that's what that comment section's down below. Go hit that video I had of the uh, figures I didn't review. If there's anything there you want to see, I'll gladly go through the boxes and I'll review it for you. Anything upcoming, let me know. I got, as always, I got plenty of stuff on the way. So every time I'm checking Big Bad Toy Store to get something sent to me. Uh, if you're new here, hit that uh, subscribe button. If you enjoy this, hit that thumbs up button. 
And as always, until next time, take care. Peace.